I never expected it to be anything big. It just kind of took off. I think when people first hear about this concept of boot camps, they immediately think like, oh, this is great. You're going to be churning out senior developers in 12 weeks. And that's just not the case, right? Like we can, we can get people really far along and we can get them super trained and ready to actually go in and contribute on day one, but they're not going to have the, the breadth of experience and the depth of experience that senior developers have. But I think that what we focus on is the pragmatic side of education and the hands-on side of education before the theoretical. I, I, that's probably the best contrast that I can paint between like a traditional CS program and, and a boot camp. Here in Provo, we're focusing on web development uh, and then go all the way uh, to what is called a full stack application, front to back. How to code in the browser, how to make a server, how to hit a database, store data, so they can make real solid applications. A typical day is we come into class, usually have a little bit of time before class where we could study, work with our mentors, and then we have class for the first half of the day, lunch, and then the rest of the day we work on projects, implementing what we learned at the beginning of the day to practice and really learn better what we learned. In three months, you only have time to really teach a pretty linear, limited set of skills. So we wanna to try to make those as applicable to the jobs that the students are trying to get. We look at the modern mar market, what people are hiring for, what's in demand, and the, uh, but it's not that need is not being met. And then we also look at which technology we think are gonna be best to teach students to give them the fundamental and core understandings they need to be flexible and build on that into bigger, better, cooler things. So let's talk numbers. How many people are enrolled in classes right now? Yeah, so we've got about 150 enrolled across three campuses right now. And those will obviously turn over based on how long the program is. So every 12 weeks or so, we're turning in 150 students or so across all campuses. And you've got Provo, one in Texas somewhere. Yes, and Dallas. And Dallas, okay. Yeah. And, and where else do you have? Uh, Salt Lake City. Also so Salt just Lake City. right down the road. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and how many people have actually gone through the program so far? So we've just we're just over 1,500 now between okay. all full time and part time graduates. Yeah. Okay. And then of course you know the question people ask about the Dev Boot Camps is how many of those people are actually getting jobs after they graduate? Yeah. So we track all of our immersive, our full time students, and we've always advertised and said that we're between 80 and 85 percent placement for full time students that they're able to get a job within three to six months. Within coming weeks, we're actually gonna be even more uh, open and kind of standardized with our data in terms of, um, so we're joining a group uh, that is called CIRR, C-I-R-R. Um, it basically has to do with integrity in, in the way that we account for graduates, right? So whether they're getting a job in field or out of field, whether they're getting contract positions or part-time positions versus full-time positions, all that's gonna be spelled out. And, and we believe that that kind of um, detailed reporting is really what this industry needs so that we can have an apples to apples comparison and people can actually see, you know, what's behind the numbers that are in the marketing ads. It's pretty intense, yes. <laughs> it's been a really great experience here. I feel like I'm pushed in a good way, not in I feel overwhelmed, I can't do this way. For most of our students, it's taking three months, accelerating their time, and helping them close that gap as quick as they can and get the skills they need to be able to go out and interview and, and hopefully get a job. The, the, the thing I've found over and over with this whole endeavor is that this, this problem, kind of the tech gap thing, is such a, it's such a real issue that most people just immediately jump on board and they're like, this is great, I love what you're doing, how can we help, how can we support you?